Hello everyone, so I recently made a video on my main channel going over networks I made from characters in different anime and probably one of my favorite results for that analysis was this thing, the One Piece character raster which contains all appearances over 1100 episodes of the 1400 characters of One Piece. I posted it to reddit and it got a pretty warm reception there with people asking to delve a little deeper into it and some really cool suggestions like showing arcs and character affiliation so that's what I wanted to do here because I think it's a really cool way to visualize the complexity of shows like One Piece. I mean, it's not hard to write a piece of media with 1,400 characters. You can just have them appear for a bit and never come back, but that's not what Oda does. Characters are introduced, but they always somehow manage to interact with the plot, and this thing visually shows that. Anyway, so <laughs> what, what is this thing? How did I make it? Well, I made it using some Python code I wrote, but I'll show you what the code is effectively doing. If we go to the One Piece fan wiki for the first episode and we go down to the character appearances section, the code essentially just notes down which characters appeared in this episode. Then the code goes to the next episode and just repeats that. So by the end of it, we have a list of characters and for each character, we have which episodes they appeared in. That's literally all this code is doing. And anyway, once we have the data, I use Blender's BPY module as well as geometry nodes in order to just plot some cubes. If a character appears at a particular episode, then I'll add a cube, otherwise I'll leave it empty. And that's really it, this chart is just showing when each character appears in each series. Though I do want to mention two quick things. First is that while I did collect data for filler episodes as well, this graph actually only includes canon episodes since that's what I needed for the network analysis I was doing in the main channel video. One Piece has relatively such little filler though that you can't really notice it, whereas if we look at Naruto or Bleach, the amount of filler is actually pretty shocking. Second is that it's not perfect. If we go to episode 52, we'll see that one of the characters is a mysterious man in green hood and a mysterious man called Dragon in episode 53. The code takes the string that's here and doesn't actually look at the link itself. So even though both of these link to Monkey D. Dragon, we instead have a character called a mysterious man in green hood and another called a mysterious man called Dragon, though Monkey D. Dragon is also here. This is also why we get the character of Luffy and Zoro here, even though they've already been introduced. Anyway, I'm bummed I didn't think of that previously, but I don't think it occurs enough to ruin any of the results. Still though, I think this thing looks really cool. Obviously, because there's so many characters, you can't see the names from out here. But if we zoom in and look, we'll find that Nami is the first character, and then scroll up, we'll find Luffy and Zoro, and as we keep going, we'll see the other Straw Hats appear eventually. I'll also give them taller cubes to distinguish them a bit more. I won't talk about individual characters for too long because, I mean, we'd be here forever, but I did want to highlight one in particular. All the way back in episode 8, Silver's Raleigh appears briefly as, uh, I mean, side character would be generous, he's on screen for like 3 seconds and he isn't even mentioned by name. But then, he appears something like 300 episodes later and becomes a big part of the plot. Anyway, like I said, I don't want to focus too much on individual characters because I think the coolness of this thing is that it lets us visualize One Piece as a whole. The first obvious thing is the triangular shape which is just because of the serial nature of shows. But another cool thing that we can visually see is the rate at which characters are being introduced just based off the steepness of the triangle. It's kind of interesting how relatively constant it is. Like, take a look at Bleach. Right towards the end, there's this giant spike of characters appearing all at once. Compared to that, sure, One Piece has some ups and downs, but overall, it's relatively constant. And those are just the obvious things. But I think if you know the show and you just kind of stare at it for a while, you kind of start making sense of it, even if you can't see the characters involved. For example, we can kind of make out these two lines here and here where a lot of characters are being reintroduced. I'll put the arcs on in a second, but I bet you a lot of One Piece fans can probably guess right away what in the series is happening just based off those two lines. And you can also see some big blocks of characters as they're being introduced. When I first saw this block, I didn't have the arcs, but in my head, I immediately thought, that's Water 7. And yeah, if I put the arcs on, you can see that that is in fact Water 7, and those two lines happen during the Marine Ford, Marine Ford, Marine Ford? The Marine Ford arc, 
and at the end of the whole Cake Island arc, which I bet a bunch of you already guessed. Marineford and Impel Down are also interesting for the characters that don't appear, namely <laughs> pretty much the whole cast outside of Luffy. Where our main cast usually has pretty solid lines, as soon as you hit the end of the Saba Odi arc, uh, they just kind of don't really show up again for a while. They're not entirely gone, but that's mainly because they appear in flashbacks. Frankie and Brooke are pretty striking though, because having only recently joined the crew, they don't have a lot of flashbacks to appear in, and so they're almost entirely gone during Impel Down slash Marineford. Anyway, last thing I want to do was to also color characters according to factions. For this, I essentially did the same thing as before. I took the names I have for this table, found their fan wiki entries, and then found their affiliations. A lot of characters belong to many factions, so for simplicity, I only took the first because it looks like it's arranged from most to least important. Now each character is colored according to faction, and <laughs> as you can kind of see, it's a bit of a mess. That's because I found something like 140 different factions, so coloring them was challenging. Still though, I think there is some neat stuff here. For example, you can clearly see the straw hats, which are this blue color. I really like here, for example, where you come out of this pink block that is the citizen of Water 7 and Frankie sneaking out. And I don't know, it's just kind of cool. I wish I had more to say about it though. I'd love to be able to plot changes in affiliation, but getting that data would be much harder. Either way, I just, I think it just looks cool. I don't know. That's, that's about it. And yeah, I really enjoyed making this thing and just kind of looking at it. And I'm super appreciative to the people who gave feedback on making it better. But yeah, I'd really like to do something like this again, if you have any ideas. I have these for Dragon Ball, Naruto, Bleach, and Jojo, but One Piece is certainly the most complex. I guess if you want, maybe check out the original video, because if you like nerdy stuff like this, then it's similar. It's character relations in anime where I used this thing to make the network. But yeah, otherwise, uh, I don't know, like and subscribe I guess I I really don't know if I'll post here um too much but I would really like to post some of the more geeky stuff um anyway yeah that's it uh see you all next time